Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will speak more about the, our schedules. Actually, we will talk today about the sharing parameter. What is that? How we can use it? How we can transfer our sharing parameter to the uh, schedule? I will show you today. First, as always, I will open some project. Let's say I will open the some sample project from Afterdesk and we will create our sharing parameter. Uh, actually, sharing parameter working not only for one project. This is really a main thing. Uh, this sharing parameter will be work on the, all the projects which will use this sharing the file. So where is this located? You will find it under the manage and here you already know the sharing parameter. Now let's open the sharing parameter and as you see I already using some sharing parameter file. But we will create the new one. Let's create the new one and I will write here let's say the test because I don't have any uh, sharing parameter with this name. So the test. Let's say OK. We already created the new uh, sharing parameter. So before I will do something else I will I will copy the this address and I'll show you what is that. So let's let's open my explorer and here you can find the test. So this is txt file and if you will open, uh, I'm highly recommend you don't change here anything. And as you can see, don't edit manually. So don't don't touch it. You can check, but don't touch anything here. And as you can see here, we can uh, get some here the parameter GUID. GUID is really main thing. Name of this parameter, type of this uh, parameter, and many many other things. So uh, I will close it for now, but not will close this uh, uh, folder. So let's create the new parameter. Here we should create first new group of our parameters. So let's say this is will be like doors uh, calculation. Why not? We will say doors calculation and inside we will say like uh, uh, number of doors. Let's do like this. Uh, this is will be common param parameter and this is will be just integer or number. Let's we will lift like the number. This is will be common parameter. Let's say OK, and as you can see, we get here the uh, parameter n of the doors, number of the doors, and parameter group by doors calculation. So I'll say OK for now, and we will go back to the um, to the our test file. Let's open up it, and as you can see, uh, we get our parameter. So this is sharing parameter, right? The unique name. So uh, good, good. I don't know how to how to pronunciation. This is more right. And after that name. So name it's name number of the doors, data type number, and any many many other things. Uh, so for what I did it. Uh, let's say I not will close this tab. Let's say for this uh, project uh, we need to add some new parameter for the doors. Now I will go uh, to the project parameters, oh sorry, to the uh, shared parameters and I will create this parameter. We already did it. Let's say OK. Let's go back to the um, our project parameters and as you can see we don't have any parameter. Uh, I mean the number of the doors, we don't have any parameter like this uh, in no, right now in here. So this is because we didn't add this parameter. Let's go and add the parameter. And as you can see, the Revit now asking us to create new parameter, but I already did it. So we will change project parameter to the shared parameters. So let's change it, so let's select. And as you can see, now Revit asking us which parameter from the our share, share parameters we want. Uh, as you remember, I have only one parameter here, but if you have some different parameters, you can choose the other one. So we will choose only one, one uh, this parameter. Let's say OK. And as you can see now, everything here block because we already know this uh, shared parameters is common and number. And now we should only uh, choose which family will give, get these parameters. So we already know this uh, will be doors. Let's change to the doors and let's make like instance. I want it instance and let's say OK. So doors, OK. Uh, let's go to the some uh, to the some floor plan and we will find this parameter. So here are the doors. I will choose these doors and let's find it. Where is it? So number number of the number of the doors. Uh -huh, it's here under other. You can you can find it here. 
but you will say, okay, but I can do the project parameter. Let's say you creating like thousand different parameters for your project or for your company. And you are starting new project. So how you will transfer it? Of course, you can do it manually one by one, but shared parameters, if you will create it once, you will use it uh, for always. And we will open now new project. Let's open new project, totally blank. So as you can see, I'm using some architecture template, so he had nothing. Let's open up and now we will go straight away to the manage. Uh, we will find here uh, shared parameters. Uh -huh. This is file already working with this Revit because I'm working in the same machine. And now we will go, for example, no, at first I will create the wall and I want to show you like we don't have any parameters. So, and I will place here the door. So let's open the door. Oh, I mean to select the door. And as you can see under other, we don't have any numbers of the doors. It's okay. Let's go back to the manage. Where's my manage? Now we will go to the project parameter. Let's go to the add, shared parameters, select, and here we are. So this parameter I want. Then we will do the same thing, instance and doors. Let's say okay, let's say okay. Let's select the door. And now you can see this is parameters already here. So as you understand, you can create uh, a lot of uh, different parameters uh, for, for example, for the doors, for the some special things, for the, I don't know, for calculation material, doesn't matter. And you can save it in this small txt file. And for example, uh, you changed your PC, you, your, uh, you get a new PC, I don't know, uh, or you sharing with your colleagues, you just can pass them this txt file. And that's it. And when they will uh, connect this txt file, as you can see, they will get the same parameters. Let's say what, what I want to say to you. Now let's go to the uh, new one because I have the some other uh, sharing parameter. Let's open up and as you can see here we have the uh, some other sharing parameter like new parameter and this is already not number, this is already the size. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I will go now to the gain to the manage, uh, now I will go to the sharing parameter and now I will change my sharing parameter to this one. So let's go to the browse will take time so I will choose this one new let's say okay and as you can see here the other parameters so let's choose the SP and here already some new parameters so by this way you can create and you can save your parameters in different machines and you can share with your colleagues and you can work like uh, more about uh, standardization or automatization of your pro working process uh, so, where we can use these parameters? As you understand, we are speaking about schedules because uh, this parameters is more for schedules. So let's go to the schedules, for example, in uh, this file, we will find some, for example, the doors, right here, the doors. And I want to put here the doors number, uh, the parameter here. Let's open fields. And now here, uh, available fields, you will find an, an of the doors here. Let's uh, put it here on the right side, shadow of the fields, and it will be after the comments, you can see. Let's say okay, and we get here this parameter. So uh, for example, I will show you one more thing. This really cool when you're working with the shadows. For example, you have the doors. And these doors have some parameter, for example, 22 or 12, doesn't matter. Uh, let's go back now to the our shadows, where's our shadow, here door shadow, and you can see mm -hmm, this door, 12. And let's say uh, you understand this door is wrong and you want to change it or you want to see this door where it's located. So how you can do that? You should uh, select this door, just just some of the some of this box, you should select that. And after that, find under element, highlight in model. So just uh, click on that show this model and you will see it's on 3d on 2d as you want for example now uh, revit trying to find some view where it can uh, ways more clear for you so for me it's this view is okay and i'll say close and i understand aha uh -huh, this is door uh, on the shadow the same this one so and the second thing 
For example, uh, how we can use the schedule more. For example, I want to delete this uh, this door. I just can say delete and Revit are now saying like if you will delete this uh, uh, these numbers, you will delete some doors. I'll say okay, so no problem. I want to do that. And as you can see, no any door here. So it means sometimes you will spend more time in schedule to change geometry than you will work in 3D. And don't forget about the sharing parameters. You can create it, for example, some special sharing parameter. For example, as you can see, fire rating. Uh, you can create your own uh, sharing parameter with fire rating. And uh, just check my previous video about the schedule. If you will combine uh, that knowledge and you, what you get today, you will create really so impressive schedules. I hope this lesson was helpful. Um, but that's it for today and see you soon. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.